Namaskar Dost. Uh, today I wanted to come on and to talk about three of my favorite books that I've been reading again and again recently. But first, the reason I'm showing you this is this is Indra. My first guru was a person who helped inspire this love that you see and this passion that you see all the time. Um, that picture stays in my office at all times, uh, right next to the Ganesha Ji that I got us matching pairs of for a Diwali um, celebration one year. The reason I tell you this is I think a lot of times um, we forget that it's, it's important to honor the people who have come before us. I think with Indra, uh, she's somebody that I always try to talk to you guys about and to express my deep love and gratitude for why I'm here. So, you ready for three books that radically changed my life when it comes to Indian cuisine? Cello. First up, I want to talk about books when it comes to the history behind Indian cuisine. Um, the reason I want to do this is, as a chef, um, I spend my time cooking, clearly, uh, and apparently making social media. But for all of us here at YouTube, one of the most important things for me to convey is love, honor, and respect for a culture and cuisine that is not mine. But also, I want to talk about the history behind it. I feel as a chef, you cannot know a cuisine, you cannot know a dish until you understand why that dish exists and how that dish exists. So today, I wanted to pull out three books that I've read, three books that I continue to reference and go through, and we're going to start with one of the books that, to me, is essential for everyone who wants to learn uh, food from the Indian subcontinent, South Asia, and Indian food in general, and that is this book right here, The Illustrated Foods of India by Kitya Chaya. So, uh, one of the reasons I think this book is so good is you can pick different dishes out of this book. Um, let's take, for example, I just flipped to Gulab Jamun. And it tells you, you know, balls of, of koa or chana or mawa, I think would be another case, and paneer, kneaded, using made, um, which is kind of all-purpose flour, fried until dark brown, um, typically fried in desi ghee. Um, a thick medium. So it, it tells you that, but it also tells you a little bit about the dish and how that dish came to be. Um, this book is a great reference if you're looking for things like, hey, I want to learn more about grapefruit. There's an entire section on that. Uh, Keti Achaya uh, was an incredible food historian. And a lot of times when it comes to Indian cuisine, we don't see a lot of um, like a ton of, of food historians in that context. There's certainly people, don't get me wrong, there's people like Doc, um, Dr. Kurosh Dalal, uh, my guru, uh, Pushpesh Pant, uh, who wrote incredible, incredible books, uh, Vikram Doctor. Um, I, I'd even say, you know, Lizzie Collingham, in a lot of ways, uh, with her incredible book, uh, Curry A Tale of Cooks and Conquerors. These are people who help, you know, unbiasedly talk about food in the context of not religion, but here's the facts, here's history. Dr. Kurosh Dalal, my guru is somebody who's an archaeologist. And so to find, you know, somebody like that studying food at a deeper level is important. So I highly recommend everything from Keti Achaya. Um, but this book, The Illustrated Foods of India by Keti Achaya, is incredible. Um, he has many books. Again, totally recommend all of them because I think he, he does a great job. The next book I want to get is, that's the history. I want to talk to you about the science of Indian cuisine. There's an incredible human being who um, I am proud to call friend. Uh, his name is uh, Krish Ashok. And um, Krish is the author of this book that, in my opinion, has been the most definitive book on the science of Indian cooking that has come out, that I know of, period. Um, this is Masala Lab. Masala Lab is more than a book. Masala Lab is a journey into the science of why Indian cuisine is so beautiful and addictive and delicious. If you do not own Masala Lab by Krishashuk, um, it is one of the most important books to own 
I cannot recommend this enough. Out of all three of these books today, this is probably the book that I would say if you have to pick one. Um, in this, you're going to find a plethora of incredible information on how the science of Indian cuisine works. I'd also encourage you to follow Krish um, on his journey uh, you see on his Instagram. His Instagram is packed full of beautiful, beautiful things. Um, he is just, that man is just so inspiring to somebody like me. Um, and I'm sure he's inspiring to many of you. If you do not know Krisha Shuk, Masala Lab is just 10 out of 10 book, 10 out of 10. Uh, next book I want to talk about is, uh, a chef who I think always inspires me. Um, his food is always very thoughtful. Um, but one of the things I really enjoy about this chef is his ability to slow down and to be very present when he cooks. Um, and that is none other than Atul Kochar. This is the masterpiece that is known as Benares. Uh, Benares obviously is a reference to Viranasi, uh, one of the, the oldest inhabited cities still to this day. This book is really an homage um, to his his version of food out there. Um, you have just stunning pictures. Make sure that's in frame. Like this. Um, in Benares, I think that one of the things that I truly love about this book is not only is it is it are the pictures stunning, but I think that his explanation in a book like this is a lot more advanced than you would get a typical regular Indian cookbook. One of the things as a Westerner who has been learning this is you. I struggled a lot in the beginning when I first flipped through Indian cookbooks because recipes are not these things that are just easily replicated in the Desi community. Um, you know, when you say how much jira goes in something, a lot of times aunties will say enough, right? Um, and how do you quantify enough? I think what Atul Kulture did here is, um, I think that he created just a masterpiece of a book. It is just, again, the pictures are stunning out of this book. Um, I get a lot of inspiration and I learn a lot from books like this. Um, there's there's words and phrases and dishes in here that I haven't seen before. And a lot of that is because it's his take on things, right? Um, for instance, if you look at Bapa Doi, uh, the Bengali Doi, or, you know, Doi meaning yogurt um, in Bengali. And this, you know, it's a, you could say it's similar to Mishti Doi, um, but with this, this is steamed. So Bapa Doi is steamed. But look at his creation of that. Look at how stunning that is. His plating is exquisite. Um, his his recipes are really inspiring and on point. So if you're looking to elevate the presentation side of things, I really recommend Benares. Um, Chef Atul Kulchar is, Kulchar is, is just amazing. I mean, he's, he's wonderful. Um, so I really recommend this one. There's a couple other books that um, I definitely want to recommend at some point, but these are the top three that I've been going through time and time again. Specifically when it comes to Masala Lab, I think I have read uh, that book probably four times at this point, and I find myself again and again going back to that book. Uh, just recently I was on a flight to do, to do a talk, and I found myself being like, I've got you know six hours on this flight, what am I going to read? obviously back to Masala Lab. So I think it takes a lifetime to build up this this repertoire of books, and I have so many on my shelf. I hope you guys like this. Um, again, a lot of what we're I'm trying to accomplish here is opening a dialogue for all of us to think about Indian food and food from South Asia in general in a different lens. It doesn't mean the food is bad. The food is the best on the planet. But I think that what we learn here is we learn that food constantly evolves and changes. And if we don't start at the source, if we don't look at the history of it, we do it a disservice. Hopefully you guys got some great value out of this today. Let me know in the comments below some of the videos that you'd like to see. Of course, I know you guys want to see cooking videos. I've done that, been there, done that. But I think the dialogue and what we're trying to do is even better than that. We'll do some cooking together too. Let me know in the comments some of the videos you want to see. And as always, thank you guys for being here. Talk to you soon.